Did you know you can add your local weather forecast so it appears right on your Google Calendar? In just a few clicks, you can see the daily forecast, high and low temps, and you can click on an icon for a detailed forecast. This is Jackie with Plan a Healthy Life, and I'll walk you step by step through how to add weather icons and your local weather to your Google Calendar. All you need is Google Calendar, and step one is to open your calendar. I'm demonstrating on my computer, but you can also add the weather calendar from an iPad or tablet. Step two is to generate a weather calendar link for your local area. In a separate browser window, visit the website weather-in-calendar.com. Your computer likely will use your location to have the correct city displayed, and in my case, it's Kansas City. If not, simply type your city inside the box. Below the location box, you're going to see two options. First, tap the button to choose whether you want the temperature displayed in Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'm picking Fahrenheit. The next option is whether you want the current temperature displayed or if you want the daily highs and lows. I'm going to select the daily highs and lows. You might wonder why I'm ignoring the big yellow add to your calendar button, and here's why. I'm using a Mac and clicking that button will add this weather calendar to my Apple calendar, which I don't use. I want instead it added to my Google calendar. Instead, tap the copy button to copy the link that Weather in Calendar website generated. We're going to paste that into Google Calendar. Return to Google Calendar and then in the left sidebar, scroll down past My Calendar to Other Calendars. Tap the plus button and then click From URL. In this box, you're going to paste the URL that you copied from the weather calendar. It's Control V to paste on a PC or Command V to paste on a Mac. Click Add to Calendar. And then up in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see a left-facing arrow. Click on that to return to your Google Calendar. You should now see your weather calendar displayed at the top of each day. And over in the sidebar, under Other Calendars, you'll see the weather calendar, and in my case it's for Kansas City, you'll see the weather calendar that you have displayed. Step 4 is an optional step, and that is to change the weather calendar background color if you want to. Google will choose a default background color, and in my case it's this light purple. Here's how to change it if you don't like the color. Tap on the weather calendar and then click on the three dots to the right, which will give you the options menu. You can see there's a number of colors that you can use and just tap on a color to select it. Or if you want a certain shade of fuchsia or a blue to match the Caribbean Ocean, you can click on your calendar, tap the dots to the right for the option menu and then tap the plus button at the bottom for more options. You can either enter a hex code or use the sliders to find the perfect color for your weather calendar. You can experiment to see different shades, different lightnesses and darknesses, and when you're done, tap the save button at the bottom of your screen. And now back in your calendar, you'll see 16 days of the current weather forecast displayed. This is the view on my monthly. As you can see, I changed it back from that fuchsia to a nice blue. And here's the weekly view. For details on your forecast, all you need to do is click on the icons and you can see a very detailed weather forecast for your local area. And that is it. You did it. I told you it was super simple to add the local weather forecast to your Google Calendar. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more content. I am wishing you your favorite weather, mine is sunny and mild, 
and thank you so much for watching.